she made her mark as part of the original Saturday Night Live cast and has voiced dozens and dozens of characters in animated productions. Now she's using that very talented voice to tell her own story. Lorraine Newman is joining us today on the floor to talk about her new audiobook and virtual appearance this weekend at the San Diego Writers Festival. Uh, Lorraine Newman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Uh, your book is titled May You Live in Interesting Times. I, I got to ask, how interesting was it to be part of that cultural explosion that was Saturday Night Live? Well, you know, we had no idea. You know, we were just a bunch of... Uh, disparate characters from all over the country from different improv groups with their own styles coming together uh, with incredible writers with their own voices and presenting what i've later come to realize is alternative comedy alternative sketch comedy i mean before that you had your show of shows and you had carol burnett and laughin which are great shows but this was really what would be called now alternative comedy so what were those early days like? Was there a moment in Saturday Night Live in that first season where you guys looked at each other and said, whoa, this is just something bigger than any of us could have imagined? Yeah, I think uh, well into the first year uh, when Gilda and I would go places and we'd get recognized on the street and people would shout out lines that we had said the night before. Uh, that's when we kind of got an idea uh, one time I was walking into 30 Rock and John Lennon said hello to me by oh, name, geez. you know. Oh, goodness. It was things like that. Gee, people are are watching us. Yeah, know? and I got to imagine for, for a young woman who came from Hollywood, California, out in New York, this had to be a real mind-bending experience. You're removed from your support system, everything you know, and then thrust into this incredible maelstrom. Just so much going on. Yeah, but, you know, I have to say that when you come from an improv background, which most of us did, it's a very cooperative art form. So everybody was kind and loving, you know, and so the bonding, it was like us against the world in that sense, uh, that we were all we had in Studio 8H from, you know, Monday to Saturday. That's our world. So it was a, a good atmosphere in that sense, is that we loved what we were doing, we loved the art form, and we were having a blast. The audiobook is May You Live in Interesting Times by Lorraine Newman. Uh, you know, that was part of your interesting times, but there came big changes and challenges coming out of that. You, you went from that to years of sobriety and reinventing yourself as a performer. I gotta, ima gotta imagine uh, a lot of the book is about that journey. Yeah, um, because I am the first person who had children in their 40s. That's never <laughs> happened before in the history of man. So, you know, that whole experience was a wonderful thing. And, and I really enjoyed writing about it because, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not what you would call your average parent. You know, um, I think the reason both my kids are doing stand-up and performing is because I would play you know, Patton Oswalt and the Sklar brothers and Maria Bamford for them while I was driving them to grammar school. Well, uh, and <laughs> because I, I, I'm such a good mother. <laughs> and I have to do the quick aside and say congratulations on your daughter, Hannah Einbender's Emmy nomination for Hacks on HBO, an incredible show. Now, reviews Thank of your you. book, we, we have a little bit of time left. Uh, they praise the front row seat to comedy history. What do you hope listeners come away with with this book? Um, I think um, the fact that I love this world, that I have a passion for everything that I've pursued, and I've been p pursued by my interests uh, more than anything else. I never had really a game plan. I never expected to have any kind of excess. I, uh, success, I just knew that, well, excess too. Um, <laughs> but I, I never expected what happened. I just knew that I was fascinated by this world and I did everything I could to learn about it, how to do it. And that's what carried me through to doing uh, animation voiceover as well. I, I took classes because I really loved the work and I wanted to learn. All right, again, the book, the audio book, May You Live in Interesting Times. It's Lorraine Newman. Uh, much more on this. She has an appearance this weekend. I believe we have a graphic to show people. It's the San Diego Writers Festival. Uh, it's July 17th and July 31st. Lorraine will be streaming on live Facebook with them. Her program is the 17th. That's this Saturday at 10 a.m. Again, 
Thank you so much for your time, Lorraine Newman. It's been an honor. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Carlo.